How is it going on guys? Try back again. I'm here to bring you another video. This video is going to be doing a versus breakdown matchup between two of Marvel's greatest characters, Thor and Wolverine. So Clever Movies is doing this one. They do their breakdown. As always, everyone else's breakdown aside from mine is lacking. I was really conceited. But it's kind of true. I mean, a lot of times I watch videos of people just breaking out stuff, and I'm like, what? It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. So I like to think that my opinion is better than everyone else's, for the most part. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But, uh, you know, I like to give my, my thoughts on, um, you know, breakdown matchups of uh, different characters, and uh, especially superheroes, comic books, because it's a lot of fun. And uh, these two right here, two of Marvel's greatest. So uh, how, would it, uh, how would it go down? Well, my opinion of this one, of course, we have, let's break down the powers first, Wolverine, okay? Uh, Besser is at what he does. Um, obviously has his adamantium skeleton, has the adamantium claws, has the super healing factor, has the enhanced uh, senses, um, extremely tough. Um, am I forgetting anything? Pretty damn fast. Uh, borderline super strength. Not entirely, but borderline. Um, at least, at least stronger than, you know, almost any human being you could think of. Um, like a power lifter, let's say. Uh, I think that's about it. Pretty much. I mean, maybe I'm forgetting a couple, but that's, that's, that's the gist of it. Thor, on the other hand, he's a god. Okay? God of Thunder has a uh, Mjorin. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. A lot of people mispronounce it. Mjorin, pretty sure. Um, obviously has, has you know, command of uh, uh, Thunder, uh, even Storm too, you know, um, to a certain extent. Mostly, mostly Thunder, Lightning. Um, same thing, really. Well, I guess if I'm going to say one, I should say Lightning. Um, super strength, resistant to impervious to almost any kind of damage um let's see what else um very fast as well borderline super speed i guess you would say ability to fly um let's see and i think that's about the gist of it too that's about it so right off the bat um when i'm looking at these two i kind of think right off the bat it's kind of a bad matchup for wolverine i would think so i mean he is more of like your you know human slash, you know, heightened human type of um, character that has those kinds of powers. He's not, however, on the level of someone like Thor, who is a god, you know. Uh, I mean, even if, let's say, the adamantium claws can hurt Thor, so can bleed him, let's say, um, which I don't think they'd be able to do easily. It'd be a lot like when Wolverine fights against the Hulk. When he does bleed him, it's like when he does slash him or, or stab him or anything, it doesn't go through like cleanly, like a hot knife through butter. It would go through like uh, more like a knife on a rock, you know, or something like that, where it would be chipping into the skin a little bit, but it wouldn't be flush, just going right through it. So if, if, if Thor went to swing and Wolverine with his claws went down on his arm, let's say, it wouldn't, I imagine, cut his arm right off. But it would, it would, it would kind of go in and then kind of like come down, let's say, or just go in and stop, but pierce the skin a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But not go all the way through and just dice him up, because he is a god. I mean, you know, uh, adamantium, yes, but he's a god at the same time. It's sort of like the whole, you know, like Superman type of uh, powers. You know, you can shoot bullets and whatever they could be, you know, armor piercing or whatever, but they're not going to hurt Superman. Or even like the most powerful one would barely hurt him. Thor is on that same kind of godlike level where things like that will maybe hurt a little bit like at, like adamantium claws but not that much and they're not going to go right through it and cut his arm off or anything like that that being said um also in terms of strength i mean this is a mismatch as well because uh, even though wolverine is extremely strong thor godlike is a would be able to take him and just you know, throw them and go flying, you know. Um, that brings me to the next one. Wolverine can't fly, you know. Uh, the Hulk can't either. He can do his giant leaps. But Wolverine has really no way to close the distance if Thor is to fly. He has no way of doing it. Uh, with the adamantium skeleton, I don't imagine he can jump that high because of the weight. It would pull him back down again. 
And uh, going on, so that's another advantage for Thor. Going on from that, the adamantium skeleton, the biggest one. Um, this is an advantage against almost any character, except for characters like Magneto um, and Thor, because lightning, uh, metal is a conductor, uh, especially you know if it's coursing through your entire skeleton. If Thor, as soon as Thor is to land a lightning strike, or any kind of lightning maneuver on Wolverine, it would just be, even though he has the healing factor, it would be just like super damage, man, because all that metal would conduct the electricity as it's going through him and would just fry the shit out of him. Even though he's got the healing factor and everything like that, it'd be much worse. Like he'd probably be better off if he went, because certain times Wolverine would not have the adamantium skeleton, like in the 90s where uh, they need to rip it out of him. Um, he just had the bone claws. That version of Wolverine would probably be better suited to face Thor than the adamantium one. Even though the adamantium one could do more offensive damage, as soon as Wolverine gets hit by lightning, and he will because Thor can fly, um, and he'll be able to avoid that with the strength, be able to knock him away and fight at a distance, the lightning strikes, uh, Wolverine's skeleton would not be able to handle it. And uh, even though he's got the healing factor, even still, it would just be too much. It would just be too powerful when he gets hit by those lightning strikes. It'd be insane. And, I mean, Thor's, uh, you know, the god of thunder. So, I mean, the, the power of that lightning would just be, it would fry him to his core. So, I'm going to say this one's kind of a wash. Even though I like Wolverine as a character way more, I'm a way bigger fan of Wolverine than I am of Thor. And I think that Wolverine does great against almost any character in the Marvel Universe. Against Thor, different level. Powers, bad matchup. Lightning versus metal, bad matchup. Conductor. Anyway, that's it for this breakdown, guys. Uh, got lots of others. If you guys haven't seen them, please go through my channel. Just so type in versus, a VS, in the search bar. You'll see tons. Uh, this to a playlist, too. Got lots of good ones. Uh, any other suggestions you have for some good breakdown matchups, please write them in the comments. I'll consider them. When I feel like them once in a while, I throw one of these videos in. That's it for this video, guys. We'll see you for the next one. This is Trev. Same piece.